and welcome to my last program for 2021 and I'm continuing my list of top 10 lists with my favorite top 10 worldwide stamps of the first half of the 20th century from 1901 to 1950 and as usual top 10 favorite is just a very loose term because there you know there's so many stamps out there and I haven't even seen them all and uh, but from what I have seen there's just too many to really whittle down to just 10 favorites but these do represent 10 outstanding uh, stamp designs in my eyes that I really love but before I look at my list let's look at a couple of viewers lists the first one is just a list of one stamp <laughs> This comes from Joseph Omendo, whose favorite stamp is the United States Scott number 73, Andrew Jackson, commonly called the Blackjack. This stamp is a bit unusual because of the oversized head within the frame. And as usual for a lot of 19th century stamps, this one is tough to find with good centering. All right, that's a good choice. In fact, it might even show up on my list. <laughs> and next I have a couple of sets from another viewer, Svezdan Milojevic. He lives in Serbia, and the stamps that he sent me are Yugoslavian stamps. The first one, a 12 stamp set from 1950. This set depicts various Yugoslav industries, such as cattle raising, book manufacture, metallurgy. And it's a great looking set. The other stamp Vezdan sent me was Scott number 2240, issued in 1994, commemorating 150 years of the National Theater. He also sent me a photograph of an error copy that he has of this stamp that's missing the inscription for Yugoslavia and for the uh, title description of the stamp. All right, thanks again for those great entries. And remember, if you would like to see your own top 10 list featured in a video, drop me a line at tedtalkstamps at gmail.com. And now without further ado, I'll just hop into my top 10 list, starting with this semi-postal set issued by Austria in 1922. It's a set of seven featuring seven classical music composers. This is the first stamp set to feature classical music composers on stamps. Next on my list is this one from Barbados, issued in 1906, featuring the Olive Blossom ship. And those of you who remember my video on Herman Hurst Jr. will know that this is the stamp that first got him interested in stamp collecting. This one is one of the first of several airmail stamps that made the list. Airmail stamps always seem to have extra, extra special designs on them. And this one I really love because of the, uh, that really dramatic close-up of the pilot in his old-fashioned flying helmet and goggles. It reminds me of an old uh, pulp magazine cover. Next is another airmail set from Greece, issued in 1926, Scott number C1 through 4. These stamps have just such a simple design, the simple line drawings, but that pastel watercolor look to them just, just makes them something special to look at for me. It's just kind of soothing and calming. Next, we have the first of three from France, all engraved by Pierre Gandon. This one depicts the Alexander III Bridge and Petit Palais in Paris. The next set, also from France, is also engraved by Pierre Gandon, and it has spectacular designs of a modern aircraft against a backdrop of Greek mythological figures. There's a centaur and Iris, Zeus, and a chariot of the sun. Just spectacular design. 
And the last one from France also by Pierre Gandon depicts a gull flying over the city of Paris. Just a beautiful, spectacular design. My next entry comes from China. This is from the Imperial Chinese time. As you can see inscribed, it says Chinese Empire on it. And this was issued for Emperor Xuantong to honor his first year as the emperor. Xuantong later gained notoriety as the Japanese puppet Emperor Henry Puyi of Manchuria or Manchuguo. The next stamp is on a lot of favorite lists. This is, of course, Canada 158 from 1929, the schooner called Blue Nose. And it is a, just a strikingly beautiful design. Next on my list is this set from New Zealand, Scott number OY 29 through 36. These are actually official stamps. But they were produced specifically for the use of New Zealand's Government Life Insurance Department, and they all depict lighthouses on them. And then the last stamp on my list, which if you've been counting, will know that that makes 11. But who's counting? It is Canada Scott number C5, and it's a, can I say it? It's another beautiful, spectacular design showing Icarus on his wings, on his homemade wings. And it's just another great example of engraving work. I don't know who did this one, but it's beautiful. So there we have it, another top 10 list down. I've got two more to go. My top 10 US 19th century stamps and my top 10 worldwide 19th century stamps. So be sure to check back and see what those contain. So until then, this is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector wishing you all a Happy New Year and Happy Stamping!